Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan the operating system for viruses with the offline version of Windows Defender and how to create a bootable USB drive or disk with this program. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Windows 10 operating system has an integrated function Windows Defender, which helps you to check your computer for viruses and remove all kinds of malware, which are difficult to delete when the operating system is running. To start this utility, open Settings, Update and Security, Windows Security. After that, select Virus and Threat Protection and choose Run a new advanced scan in that section. Select the option Windows Defender Offline Scan and click on Scan Now, then Scan and Yes to confirm your choice. Before this process, finish work in all applications because the system will have to restart and you may lose all unsaved data. The system will restart and begin checking the computer for viruses and delete them automatically. This process takes some time, so don't turn the computer off and have patience to wait until it is over. When the scan is complete, the system will restart again to boot in normal mode, and all the viruses that have been detected will be cleaned automatically. To see results of the Windows Defender offline scan, just open Threat History. To do it, click on the Start button, go to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection. In Virus and Threat Protection, open Threat History. You will see how many files were scanned and how many threats were detected. If you want to use this utility with such versions of the operating system as Windows 8 and 7, you can create a bootable flash drive or disk with this program and use it to check another computer. To do it, follow one of the links in the description for this video depending on the version of your operating system – 32-bit or 64-bit. If you don't know the bigness of your operating system, here is another video to watch, find the link in the description. The download starts as soon as you follow the corresponding link. When the download is over, connect a storage device to the computer and run the downloaded file. For installation, you will need an internet connection and at least 250 MB of free space in an empty disk or USB drive. At this stage, click Next, then choose the device where you're going to record the portable version of the program. It can be a disk, a USB drive, or you can save the image as an ISO file and then click Next. You will see a warning that your device will be formatted and that will make you lose all data on that device, so you should save any important information to a safer place. Click Next again to confirm your choice and the process of creating a bootable disk or USB drive will start. It can take some time depending on how good your internet connection is. Now that's all, the process is over and a bootable USB drive with an offline version of Windows Defender has been created. Click Finish. Now you can use it on another computer with Windows 8 or 7. All you have to do will be to insert the USB drive or disk into the computer which you need to check and restart it. The program will start automatically. If it didn't happen, you can watch one of our videos on how to boot a computer from a USB drive or disk. Find the link in the description as before. Click Start Full Scan or choose a different scan type from the menu. The program will run the scan and show the next steps depending on the scan results. We recommend downloading Windows Defender offline and creating a disk or USB drive on a computer which is free from malware, as it can interfere with the process. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!